okay so now we move to our uh, next topic uh, which is basically you can say uh, the most important topic after the midterm uh, by midterm i means after eight weeks right which is inheritance right so just like uh, i keep telling you that um, key object oriented concepts in the first eight weeks are composition and operator overloading rest of the topics we have seen they are supporting topic right which actually support these for example friend function is supporting operator overloading but the core concept are composition and operator overloading similarly in the second half of the semester inheritance is you can say the core topic right and the second core topic is polymorphism which is actually related with inheritance and as i keep telling you uh, whenever you appear for an interview whether for higher studies or uh, for a job uh, right so typical questions are from composition operator loading and inheritance right someone would ask you what is inheritance right and of course some other details which i will tell you in a while right so what inheritance is uh, let's uh, discuss in detail again uh, today we'll mostly be focusing on the conceptual layer right uh, i will try to keep the programs to as low as possible so that first we understand it conceptually and then we convert our knowledge into a computer program right so okay i'm sure other than programming you must have heard of this terminology in your daily life as well right so can you tell me uh, the simplest uh, meaning of inheritance either in english or urdu any any synonym of inheritance and the inheritance uh, what what do you think inheritance is right you 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 can also unmute yourself and tell or you can also uh, uh, type it right okay one suggestion is to adopt uh, partially yes but can, can can we can we have another synonym you you can even tell a synonym in urdu right or not virasat ho sakti hai sorry acha virasat jo ha ji very good jo inheritance ki agar aap urdu translation kare na it is virasat theek hai and virasat mein kya hota hai ki basically there are different generations right maybe this is generation 1 then there is another generation okay and then the next generation so you see ab uh, they have some assets theek okay. hai this is generation 1 generation 2 generation 3 theek ho gaya so jo assets hain wo is generation se is generation ko transfer ho jayenge theek hai assets kya ho sakte hain uh, financial assets ho sakte hain it can be koi um, uh, can be something like koi ghar ho sakta hai koi plot ho sakta hai koi vehicle ho sakti hai right and similarly this um, from g2 they will move to the third generation and so on theek ho gaya so basically this is the concept of inheritance we have in our uh, real world right so yes um, almost all of you what you are saying is correct right something we get from our forefathers or children get something from their parents right and you see inheritance is not uh, only in terms of asset it is also in terms of genes as one of your uh, colleague suggested right for example color of eyes color of hair these are also things which are inherited right so maybe um, the examples we have here these are materialistic things assets so on right but there are also genetic uh, things which are inherited right sometimes if there is a disease common in the family so Uh, when you go to a medical expert they first ask you uh, did anyone in your family has this problem you see so that is also inheritance right so good i you you are familiar with the general idea of inheritance right okay so that's fine but now in programming we don't have any genes or we don't have any plots or um gadia or ghar or anything right we have classes अब क्लास के पास क्या है क्लास के पास दो ही चीजें हैं वन इज डेटा द अदर इज फंक्शन राइट इट हैज नो प्लॉट्स नो नो प्रॉपर्टी नो चेंज एनीथिंग सो व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इनहेरिटेंस इन क्लासेस और प्रोग्रामिंग द ओनली थिंग व्हिच कैन बी इनहेरिटेड इज डेटा एंड फंक्शंस राइट सो कॉन्सेप्चुअली इफ वी रेप्लिकेट द कांसेप्ट ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस इन प्रोग्रामिंग सो वी से वी विल हैव अ पेरेंट okay and since it is a class so we can call it a parent class just like we have a parent or a father or you can say a generation and then you have a child it is a child 
but it is a class so you can call it a child class right so this is the parent class and it will have something that something is what data and functions this is the child class okay child class maybe it has something of its own as well right child class will have its own data own function just like an individual can have his own, own property but at the same time whatever the parent has it is also inherited here okay so it means it has something of its own and it is also getting things from its parent right so this is basically the idea of inheritance which is very much similar to what we have in the real world and how do we represent inheritance visually in uml diagram just like for composition we use this diamond okay we connect two classes with diamond in inheritance you see you will have at least two classes a parent and a child at least you can have more as well right but at least so for uh, in order to represent this inheritance we use the arrow symbol okay and the arrow is pointing from child to parent okay so if it is the child class and it is the parent class you connect them by an arrow which is pointing from child to parent and this is called this arrow actually means inheritance of course we'll see low level details later at, at present we are only at the conceptual layer okay so so far what do we know we know that um, there's a, there's a parent class there's a child class and when we do inheritance um the child will inherit something from the parent okay and what is that something um it can be data and functions because these are the only two things which a class has nothing else okay but of course there are many other details what can be accessed um, what about access specifier we'll come to those details later the next thing we learned is that if you want to represent inheritance in a uml notation you use the arrow right arrow is pointing from child to parent which shows that there is a inheritance relationship between uh, these two okay now when we talk of inheritance it is very easy to mix it with composition okay so i'll actually compare both of these okay because in the beginning um, some of the students find it difficult to uh, discriminate between these two okay so we have inheritance and we have composition so in composition if you remember i told you a terminology which is called has a, right composition is has a relationship and why are we calling it has a relationship because one class has object of another class and for that we had done many examples for example we said student has a date of birth right similarly we said flight has a uh maybe time of uh, departure date of departure and so on right so composition is has a relationship in composition you also have multiple classes but you have object of one class as a data member of another class right when you talk of inheritance inheritance is called is a relationship now it doesn't make much sense what 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 do we mean is a okay so in order to understand that suppose um, we are making a system for the university where we have a class student okay so this is my class student every student will have name id enrollment number address and so on right when i see the requirements of the university i know that there are two types of student in the university ug students undergrad student and master student which we call pg students okay so i say okay for ug students there is some data like you you do a project in your 7th and 8th semester which is called fyp right which is an additional information which which you have which master student do not do master student they do something else which is called research okay so i say okay in my system i will also have uh, i have a class student but maybe i have a separate class for ug students and i have a separate class for pg students okay and you see um, all the attributes of a student ug student also has those right if every student has a name ug student also has a name 
PG student also has a name, but UG student will have some additional data like FYP or internship or something else, right? Similarly, PG student will have some additional data which UG student and UG student do not have. So you see, just, just ignore the low level details. Can I write this that, sorry, UG student is a student. Yes, it is true. Every UG student is also a student. Every PG student is also a student, right? Similarly, let's do some more, you can say easy to follow example. Suppose we say a vehicle. So vehicle can be a car, vehicle can be a truck or a Jeep. So you see, these are all different types of vehicle. So you can say every car is also a vehicle. Every truck is also a vehicle. Every Jeep is also a vehicle, right? Similarly, um, if you can have some more examples, um, let me think of something, yeah. Suppose in a company you have employees, okay? So employee can be a faculty member. Employee could be an administrative staff or employee could be the support staff, right? like your guards and your uh, you can say runners and PAs. So you see, all of these are different types of employee. But if I say faculty member is a, an employee, so this is true because every faculty member is, is an employee. Every admin staff is an employee. Every support staff is an employee, right? And of course, faculty member will also have a date of birth, okay? So you see this date of birth is composition. This is inheritance. So in inheritance, basically we are talking about different special types of something which is more generic, right? I'll give you some more examples in the slides, right? I'm just trying to build the idea. So if, if for example, I represent this information uh, by a class diagram, right? For, for only faculty and uh, you can say employee. So you see, we have a class employee. We have a class faculty member. Every faculty member is an employee. So I can do inheritance and faculty member has a date of birth, right? Similarly, employee can also be um, a staff. Staff also has date of birth. So you see our class diagram is growing, but it is growing very logically. It makes sense whatever we are doing, okay? So in short, inheritance uh, is basically when you have a generalized class and you have specialized types of that class, okay? This is just as a conceptual layer. Now let's see some more examples so that we, we get the idea that how actually uh, this works, right? So as I told you that uh, composition, which we have seen previously is called has a relationship. For example, employee can have name, ID, salary, and date of birth. So since date of birth is likely to be a class, so that's why we treat it as composition, right? On the other hand, when we are talking about inheritance, it is type of, kind of, or is a, you, you can call it anything, right? Um, kind of, type of, but mostly we use the terminology is a relationship, right? So as I had given you an example, if there's a general category of employee, so an employee can be a laborer, a scientist, a manager, or an engineer, all of these are actually different types of employees or different kinds of employees, right? And we can say every engineer is also an employee. Right? So that's why it's, it's important to, uh, you can say, understand the difference between is a and has a, right? So as I told you, if we are talking about inheritance, so we can say car is a vehicle, which is true. Every car is a vehicle, right? But when you say car has a steering wheel, right? So this is actually composition, right? Because we are talking about uh, has a relationship. Okay, now let's see some, some more examples from the real world. Uh, suppose uh, we have something generic, we say electronic item. So electronic item can be anything, right? So we say, okay, we are talking about two things, uh, phones and sound system, which are actually types of electronic items. Then phone could be a mobile phone or a cord phone. Similarly, sound system, it can be earplugs or stereos, right? So you see, as you go up, you have more generalized classes or objects, whatever you want to call them. And as you go down, you are getting more and more specific. Now, within the mobile phone, you can say, okay, uh, traditional keypad or touch, touch screen. Okay, so you can, you can have more types. Similarly, within studios, you can have multiple types and so on, okay? So this, when we'll be implementing it, 
this is like the parent class and this is like the child class another term for parent is a base class or super class right you can call it anything but mostly we use the term parent or base class right similarly for the child class uh, this is sorry child you can call it a child class or basically another term is derived class right so we say parent child you can use this pair or you can use the pair base and derived okay and when you are talking about mobile phone so for mobile phone this is parent actually okay this phone would be parent of mobile and in this case mobile would be child class but of course if you have some other classes then mobile would be parent of those classes okay so it is just like you have in the real world so you can also say that this electronic item is actually a grand parent of this mobile phone which is true right so it is exactly the same hierarchy which we follow in in in, in the real world okay now let's see another example we can have a class uh, like mammals mammals can be cats dogs and humans and within the cats we can have different uh, types like lion tiger or leopard they are all different types of cats so this is again a real world example of inheritance some examples from uh, geometric shapes right uh, shape can be a 2d shape or a 3d shape 2d shape can be a circle square triangle similarly 3d sh the shapes can be a cube or a sphere or a tetrahedron right so this way you can actually think of many different uh, classes right student as i told you ug student pg student shape circle triangle loan right loan loan and banking this is a very good example uh, when you go to a bank there are different types of loan personal loan car loan home loan mortgage loan right similarly for an account you can have a saving account or you can have a checking account one in, in in one type you get the profit in the other there is no profit and loss right something like that so you see these are different uh, examples of uh, what you can find in the uh, real world right okay so maybe uh, now i'll i'll seek some feedback from you before we uh, move further so uh, can you give me some real world examples of uh, inheritance other than those which i have told you can 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 you just uh, look around and give me one or a couple of examples of inheritance in the real world other than those which we have already discussed and you please think a little and share your thoughts if uh, if you can think of some examples uh, of inheritance okay can you just think okay if i say furniture so can we somehow um, okay I, i received this as a suggestion so can can we do inheritance in this yes we can any suggestions yes please furniture could be we can say home furniture or it could be office furniture right similarly in home furniture you can have uh, like um, a living room furniture bedroom furniture in office you can have conference uh, chair office chair and so on right so you see again uh, there is a hierarchy in which you have something generic on the top and as you go down you are getting more and more specific right okay another suggestion from uh, one of your colleagues is appliances yes very good appliances uh, appliances could be like home appliances or you can say uh, you can have different categories of appliances which you can uh make more and more specific as you go down in the tree okay uh then you have we have another suggestion uh machine a washing machine user machine yes that that's perfectly fine uh food yes food can be uh, then we have seed flower fruit vegetable um yes to some extent yes we can implement it with uh inheritance uh but maybe it would be slightly tricky uh, to implement it like this okay one important thing is that uh, you see maybe you are talking about this okay so if i say uh, brand okay so you can say okay maybe um so 
it is better that not to do inheritance like this why because you see this brand is actually a data member which will have a value so whatever the brand is you can you can put it here okay so rather than this a better you can say uh, this is okay this is syntax this is fine okay uh, this is not incorrect but a, an improved design could be that rather than going for this okay you can say uh, it can be a keypad or it can be a touch screen why i am saying this okay because uh, maybe it is better to or it is easier to understand from a different example suppose we have a class car so if you say car and you make two uh, child classes based on the brand say maybe we pick two common brands okay so actually um, syntax wise it's okay right but a better you can say distribution could be you can say sports car or you can say maybe a family car which we use in our homes or you can say our transport car which we use for cargo right the reason is that you see this is actually the value of a data member right that for example in the car when you will implement it you will have a data member string uh, maybe make or brand whatever you want to call it so the value of that would be one of these okay if it's coming from honda so the value of that data member would be this so although it is okay right but i would suggest that try to think in this term where you have categories right that there's a type so you can say honda and toyota these are types but you see these are actually two different makers who would be making similar cars with different designs and most of the attributes are likely to be same right they are comparable in terms of prices and engine power and other features so uh, it's a, it's it's okay but i would appreciate if you think in these terms that what are the different types of cars sports car family car a car which we use for transportation because this would give you a, a better design right and of course in the data members you can have uh, the values which are capturing the information of the brand or make or model or, or, or anything you like okay then uh, we have a query which is uh, i think similar to this one that uh, can juicer machine be a parent class if we make brand child classes Uh, such as higher lg yes this is exactly what i am saying that um, syntax wise you can do that but uh, practically i would say that uh, do not make child classes based on simply the brand it is like that you have a class student right every student has a different name okay so if you say one student is say abc is he is a different class and uh, another student xyz is a different class so the problem would be that both will have exactly the same data members right what would be the diff, different uh, difference between the two so if you say there is a maybe juicer machine and then you have different brands so all of these will have same attributes like price uh, power electricity consumption speed they are in every the only difference is brand right which was the same example which we were discussing here so normally when you are doing inheritance there has to be some difference of attributes okay now you see if you are talking about a sports car what is the most important attribute of a sports car speed that it goes from 0 to 60 in how many seconds theek hai na sports car mein to we we see ye cheez dekhte hain ki ye kitni jaldi 100 mile hours pe pahunch jayegi family car isme what you will see engine capacity um, kitne log isme aa sakte hain theek hai family car ka ye attribute hoga transport car transport cart mein we are more interested in how much weight it can carry theek hai na ki agar koi cargo truck hai mini truck hai so you are more interested ke ye kitna weight carry kar sakta hai so you see agar aap isko classes ke usme dekhe to in sab ke attributes different honge theek hai that's why we are saying these are different classes lekin agar aap brands ki classes bana denge for example you say ji ek hire ka hai aur ek mein bhi lg ka hai to inke attributes to same hai राइट right? के इसमें भी आपको प्राइस चाहिए वेट चाहिए स्पीड चाहिए इसमें भी वही चीज चाहिए सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस विल दिस कैन बी सिंटेक्स वाइज करेक्ट बट इट वुड नॉट बी अ वेरी गुड डिजाइन राइट सो इट्स ऑलवेज अ गुड आइडिया दैट यू थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ इन इन टर्म्स ऑफ यू कैन से टाइप्स रादर देन ब्रांड्स राइट ओके देन वी हैव अनदर सजेशन फूड कैन बी जंक एंड हेल्दी वेल इफ इट इज अ there's a class say uh, then what are the attributes which are different in 
uh, junk food and healthy food if you can identify some attributes which are different then this is okay right because i think that for example food me kya attributes ho sakte hain calories right that how many calories are there um this 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 is this is what i can identify as an attribute so this attribute can be common both in junk food and healthy food so can we identify some attributes which are different in junk food and healthy food if we can then you can do inheritance theek okay? hai so the simplest rule is jab bhi aap inheritance kar rahe hain to jo aapne different um, types banayi hain unme kuch na kuch attributes different hone chahiye if you can think of it it is a valid example of inheritance if you can't think of it then it, it is not you can say a valid example of inheritance right so i think we can now uh, conclude for today